Hello students and parents welcome back to my channel with another science tutorial video today. Today is another biology tutorial and I am going to explain you one of the most important granule inside our cells that is centrosome and centrioles. So let's get started. A centrosome is a cellular structure involved in the process of cell division. Before cell division, the centrosome duplicates and then as division begins, the two centrosomes move to opposite ends of the cell. The centrosome is made up of two perpendicular centrioles, a daughter centriole and a mother centriole, linked together by interconnecting fibers. It consists of a complex of proteins that helps in the formation of additional microtubules. An amorphous pericentriolar matrix surrounds the centrioles. It is involved in the nucleation and anchoring of cytoplasmic microtubules. Centrosome in the animal cells is very much like DNA. During cell division, one centrosome from the parent cell is transferred to each daughter cell. In proliferating cells, the centrosome starts dividing before the S phase begins. The newly formed centrosomes participate in organizing the mitotic spindles. During interphase, the centrosome organizes an astral ray of microtubules that help in intracellular trafficking, cell adhesing, cell polarity, etc. In post-mitotic cells, the centrosome consists of a mature centrioles and an immature centriole known as the mother centriole and daughter centriole respectively. The centrosome cycle consists of four phases. First one is G1 phase where the duplication of centrosome takes place. Second one is G2 phase where the centrosome maturation takes place. Number 3 is the mitotic phase where the centrosome separation takes place. And number 4 is a late mitotic phase where the chromosome disorientation takes place. Let's discuss the major functions of centrosome. The centrosomes help in cell division. They maintain the chromosome number during cell division. They also stimulate the changes in the shape of the cell membrane by phagocytosis. In mitosis, it helps in organizing the microtubules ensuring that the centrosomes are distributed to each daughter cell. They regulate the movement of microtubules and cytoskeletal structures, thereby facilitating changes in the shapes of the membranes of the animal cell. So, I hope my today's video will become helpful for your study. Stay tuned to my channel and definitely follow my all videos to get good marks in science. Bye-bye.